أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وإن تعدوا نعمة الله لا تحصوها إن الله لغفور رحيم And if you would count the graces of Allah never would you be able to count them Truly Allah is oft forgiven most merciful As Muslims one of the key ingredients to being a good servant of Allah is gratefulness and contentment with everything that Allah bestows upon us We regularly say alhamdulillah but most times it is just that which we profess it doesn't reach our hearts gratefulness as defined by ibn al-qayyim means to show the effects of the blessings of allah upon the tongue by way of praise and acknowledgement in the heart by way of witnessing and love and upon the limbs by way of submission and obedience a lot of us struggle with being grateful whether we realize it or not in this modern age that we live we are always taught to want more and more Every day there's a new car, a new gadget, a new phone that's been advertised that subconsciously makes us feel like we need it and that our current one is not good enough. Then there's also social media where people wrongfully flaunt their blessings which can make us look down on what we have. Especially for us Muslims, when we meet in our places of socialization like weddings, naming ceremonies and so on and interact with each other, a sister might say she bought this latest expensive fabric Another might show us the iPhone 14 her husband bought for her and someone else will announce that she has been promoted at her job and things like that. Hearing these things can make you and I who might not have all these luxuries feel deprived. We may start belittling what we have and wish we had more and more. Without gratitude, we can never be fully content. This can lead us to have a resentful and negative attitude towards life. All because we have forgotten all that we have and focused on the things we don't have. But insha'Allah, overcoming this struggle is highly achievable if we take the means. Some of which are, number one, looking at those beneath us. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Unzuru ila man asfala minkum, wa la tanzuru ila man huwa fawqakum, fa huwa ajdaru an la tisbagu ni'matallahi. He said, look at those below you and do not look at those above you. For it's the best way not to belittle the favors of Allah. If we think our clothes are old-fashioned, let's think of those that wear worn-out tattered clothing. If we think our house is small, remember those that live on the streets or in incomplete buildings. When we think we are ashamed of our phones, let's remember those that having a phone like ours is their dream. Let's learn to always look on the bright side and appreciate everything we already have. Number two. Reading about the lives of the prophets and sahabas whom Allah loved dearly. When we get to know what their lives were like, we realize that they had far less than us but were very content and happy. Even our beloved Prophet وسلم, used to sleep on a straw mat and his house was very small, such that Aisha radiallahu anha said when he would pray in her room, his feet would touch hers when he was in sujood. All these things that we see around us are material things of the dunya that are fleeting and temporary. Having them does not guarantee happiness and it's not the main goal in the life of a Muslim. Number three, thanking Allah for our tests. Even when we are tested, let's thank Allah too because it could have been worse. For example, when we are tested with difficult spouses, instead of repeatedly complaining about our husbands in every opportunity we get, let's thank Allah that we are not tested with our health. Al Sha'bi reported, Shurayh, may Allah have mercy on him, said, Verily, if I am afflicted by a calamity, then I praise Allah four times. I praise him that it was not worse than it was. I praise him as he provides me with patience to bear it. I praise him as he guides me to recall my hope for reward. And I praise him as he did not make it a calamity in my religion. Subhanallah, what a beautiful mindset. Number four, keep a gratitude journal. The life you are living is full of numerous blessings. The deen of Islam, the roof over our head the food on our table, the clothes we own, the family around us, the ability to watch this video, to mention but a few. If we were to take five minutes to write a few of these blessings each day, we will begin to focus more on our blessings and not on what we don't have. And that will go a long way in helping us to be genuinely grateful to Allah each day. Then lastly, number five, dua. Let's make dua genuinely that Allah grants us contentment in all our affairs. Let's make dua that Allah preserves the blessings that he has given us. If we see something of this dunya that our brother or sister possesses, 
let's say tabarak Allah, Allahumma barik and be happy for them. And if we desire it, let's make dua that Allah grants us that also, if it's khair for us. Allahumma laka alhamdu kulluh wa laka shukru kulluh. Allahumma laka alhamdu hatta tarda wa laka alhamdu idha radita wa laka alhamdu ba'da rida wa laka alhamdu ala kulli hal. Allahumma fa inna ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husna ibadatik. O oh Allah, for you alone is all praise and for you alone is all gratitude. O oh Allah, for you is praise until it pleases you and for you is praised when you are pleased and for you is praised after you have become pleased and for you is praised in all conditions. O oh Allah, help us to remember you, to give thanks to you and to worship you in the best of manners. Amin. If you have benefited from this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Dean Sisters, to help us make more videos. You can also get yourself or a loved one a valuable item from our charity shop from bits.ly slash dscharity underscore shop. Jazakumullahu khairan.